Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hide zero orders in your WooCommerce order list. Uh, this is the development version, so here we go. Okay, first thing is, uh, we have the code available here on this GitHub repo at Shop Plugins, uh, which is our plugin marketplace under WooCommerce hide zero orders. So uh, for the development version, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone this. And if I go over to my local site, which I'm using um, local, uh, to install on. I'm in the plugins directory. I'm just going to clone that repository. And now I have um, WooCommerce hide zero orders and it's hooked up to the Git repo and I have <clears throat> the one file in the readme. So let's go over to the site and refresh here and make sure that we can, yep, we can see hide zero orders, activate that. And that looks good. Go over to the orders page and we have show orders and, sh and then hide orders. Perfect, so if I go over to my, my repo here, so I, oh, this plugin's super simple and I'll describe what's happening here. So the first part of the plugin is just the plugin header, which gives the name, description, author, that type of thing. And then we have this one block, uh, if we're in the site admin, to add an action and add a filter. The next part is we wanna make sure that we only add this code if we're in the admin side of the site. Uh, if not, then none of this will be added. The first part here is an add action where we're gonna hook into restrict manage posts. And so restrict manage posts is, if we look at the codex here, it fires before the filter button on posts and page list tables. And so we can add sorting and other type of things to, um, to our posts uh, list tables. And so that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to filter out the zero total orders for the custom post type shop order. So this gets fired to, uh, this gets fired with restrict manage posts. And the first thing we do is make sure that the type of post that we're looking at is actually shop order. If not, then we get out of here. Uh, so if it is shop order, then we want to display our dropdown. So we'll display our dropdown and name it SP order view. That's going to, what's going to be added to um, the URL as a query var. And uh, we have two options. One is show all orders where SP query, SP order view will be set to the value of all. And the other option is show non-zero orders where um, we're going to remove the zero total orders from the list of orders. So that value will be set to non-zero. Okay, so um, this takes care of displaying the dropdown and setting the dropdown to the selected item that we're currently looking at. So if, uh, if that query var is set, and uh, if the query var is set, and then if it's, select, if it's set to non-zero, then we're gonna select this other option. Otherwise, we're gonna default to show all orders. The next bit is actually the part that does the, the filtering. So we're gonna add a filter in hook into the request uh, hook, and we're gonna call this function. So the first thing this function does is it sets up a key for post not in. And so that's how we're gonna modify our query for orders so that we can pull out the items that we don't want in the list. Uh, the first check is for shop order type now, again, making sure that we only act on the orders list and not any other custom post type. Um, we also want to make sure that the order view is set because if it's not, then we then it's really just defaulting to show all orders back up here. Uh, then we check is the order view actually set to non-zero? That means that the the administrator has selected the second option in the drop down and hit filter. So if all of this is true, uh, then if the key is not empty, which it shouldn't be, um, we're going to do a quick query to get all the posts where the order total is zero. And we wanna make sure, add that to our query to say we, we want all the posts that are not in the list of IDs of posts where the order total is zero. So this order total meta is added by WooCommerce to the custom post type of shop order um, as, and it's useful for looking up for the total order for all the orders, or excuse me, the order total for all the orders. Okay, so let's go look and see how this is, uh, how this is done. I have the order view here. So the page is loading and the post type is set to shop order. And we have we have our drop down here that's inserted before the filter button. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and select show non-zero orders. And if I inspect that, then you can see uh, that the HTML is set up as we'd expect. Show all orders is value all, and show non-zero orders is value of non-zero. So if I select non-zero and hit filter, the SP order view gets added right up here, set to non-zero, and then our query update does a query and removes all the non-zero orders from our current view. And so that's it. So if I wanna show all the orders, I just filter that, and it gets set to all, and those zero orders are back in. And that's it, super easy way to add filtering to the WooCommerce orders list. I hope you enjoyed this and let us know by liking and subscribing and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.